Hello everyone, this is Nikki with another episode of Bollywood Buzz, where we're going to talk about the latest and the juiciest gossip in Bollywood. A good news for all you Virat Kohli and Anushka Sharma fans, they might be back together. They're both seeing exit in a restaurant hand in hand, so are they back together? I guess we'll find out. Kohli has been trying to woo his lady love back for the longest time now. Bollywood Life had exclusively reported how India's star cricketer has been calling Miss Sharma while she was busy shooting for A Dil Hai Mushkil in Rajasthan recently. He had also shot all Anushka haters on social media after trolls took digs at Kohli's ex-lover. His Instagram post read, Shame on those people who have been having a go at Anushka for the longest time and connecting every negative thing to her. Shame on those people calling themselves educated. Shame on blaming and making fun of her when she has no control over what I do with my sport. If anything, she has only motivated and given me more positivity. This was long time coming. Shame on these people that hide and take a dig. And I don't need any respect for this post. Have some compassion and respect her. Think of how your sister or girlfriend or wife would feel if someone trolled them and very conveniently rubbished them in public. Anushka, we hear, was trying her best to not get affected by all of this and immersed herself in work. It was the couple's common friends who helped Virat win back his girlfriend and got them to patch up. In fact, last night, the two met for a dinner date at a suburban restaurant to celebrate the new chapter in their life. Soon after finishing their dinner, Anushka and Virat left from the restaurant in separate cars and headed to Salman Khan's Galaxy Apartments residence, where the actor was celebrating the wrap-up of Sultan's Mumbai schedule. So was it just a friendly dinner or a romantic dinner? Are they going to get back together? I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. All you heartbroken Salman Khan fans have nothing to worry about. Salman Khan and his ex-lady love, Sangeeta Bijlani, might be doing a movie together, which explains why they've been spotted at many occasions together. Recently, we had heard that Salman Khan is being considered as the lead for Shanam remake, and it seems the female lead might be Sangeeta. The film revolves around the male lead helping his ex-girlfriend in finding her missing daughter. Wouldn't it be apt casting these former lovebirds? Things between Sangeeta and Salman were quite serious and even marriage was on the cards until something went wrong. Salman has always maintained that in spite of their past, she's extremely close to him and his family. The movie is about a guy who is approached by his ex-girlfriend to help rescue her kidnapped daughter. The movie is a big hit down south. However, it is the part about the hero helping his ex that reportedly interested Salman. Interestingly, his ex flame Sangeeta Bijlani is looking at making a comeback to films. An official announcement on the same is awaited and we certainly hope this dream casting sees the light of the day. So will sparks fly while shooting for the movie and will Salman and Sangeeta finally get back together? Let's see! Chris Brown is coming to India! Chris Brown will be performing at IPL 2016 with Major Lazer, and we all cannot wait. The Indian Premier League 2016, like previous years, will get off to a glamorous start at the Dome, National Sports Club of India, Mumbai, on Friday night. Pop star Chris Brown will highlight the show, while Katrina Kaif and Ranveer Singh will bring up the Bollywood cast. This will be Brown's debut show in India and dance hall reggae trio Major Lazer with Nana Richard, Fuse ODG and Nyla Thornborn are expected to set the dome on fire. The tournament starts on Saturday evening with champions Mumbai Indians taking on Debbie Tons, rising Pune Supergiants at the Wankade Stadium. Bollywood has been an integral part of IPL with celebrities like Ranveer Singh, Jacqueline Fernandez, Katrina Kef and Honey Singh all set to dazzle the stage. The two hour long opening ceremony promises to be an absolute cracker. Cricket and Bollywood have always been closely associated and what better way for me to show my support. 
I'm totally looking forward to the experience. It is going to be fantastic, said Katrina. Ranveer Singh said, My act will honor the spirit of cricket and victory. I want to dedicate this performance to all the cricket fans across the world. IPL is a big party, not just for the sports fans and the Bollywood fans, but this time looks like it'll be also for Hollywood fans because Chris Brown is performing. The death of the television actress Pratyusha Banerjee has caused quite a controversy in Bollywood and it has all the Bollywood celebrities involved. However, her boyfriend has now been taken into custody for further questioning regarding her questionable death. Pratyusha Banerjee was found hanging from a ceiling fan in her Mumbai home Friday. Her boyfriend, actor and producer Rahul Raj Singh remains shattered by her death and is in no condition to be interrogated by police, his lawyer Neeraj Gupta told to the media. The Indian Express said Rahul was booked for abetment to suicide, assault and intimidation based on a complaint given by Pratyusha's mother. India Today reported several of the star's friends held a press conference Sunday saying she was unhappy in her relationship with Rahul. Rahul has been hospitalized since Sunday after complaining of chest pains. He said he has suffered from depression and shock since Pratyusha's death. Pratyusha reached stardom in 2010 when she took over the lead role in Balika Vadu, a popular Indian TV drama. She also appeared with Rahul in Power Couple, a reality show that features 10 popular celebrity couples who compete in various challenges. The couple was eliminated early in their show's run. She also took roles in reality shows such as Big Boss, similar to Big Brother in the US, and Jhalak Viklaja, a celebrity dance competition similar to Dancing with the Stars. Despite all the controversy surrounding Pratyusha Banerjee's death, we have our deepest condolences to her family. In Bollywood, who knew two rivals will be complimenting each other? John Abraham is all praises for Ranbir Kapoor after seeing his latest acting gigs. John Abraham is very clear that he does not want to produce run-off-the-mill films. He believes it takes guts to go against the tide and follow your instincts. He thinks Ranbir Kapoor has made interesting choices from Rocket Singh Salesman of the Year to Burfi to Tamasha. John says, I must credit Ranbir for making fantastic choices. A lot of people say that his films have not worked, but I stand by his choices because that's what I would do too. These choices you make define who you are. He's a commercial hero, but his choices show he's a confident actor. You have to understand that an actor's confidence gets shaken with every failure and that's when self-conviction is important. Because there will be 10,000 people around you who are telling you to do this and do that, but you have to do what you believe is right for you. Since the last few days, John has been quite vocal in appreciating the works of other actors. He had commented previously that he had been really moved by Salman Khan's Bajrangi Bhaijan. So will John Abraham produce another movie and maybe even cast Ranbir Kapoor as an actor in his movie? All you Shah Rukh Khan and Ranbir Singh fans, looks like we might have to wait a little bit more to see them together in a film. Ranbir Singh has specifically said that it is not confirmed that he will be in a movie with Shah Rukh Khan and Rohit Shetty. Ranveer Singh says that his films with superstar Shah Rukh Khan and director Rohit Shetty have not been finalized yet. He said, as of now, I'm doing Aditya Chopra's Be Fikre, and I'm very happy that it is shaping out to be really good. As per rumors, which are making rounds, Shah Rukh and Ranveer might be teaming up for Sanjay Leela Bhansali's Next, which will be directed by Shimit Amin. Whatever projects I have been discussing, nothing has been finalized yet. Recently, Ranveer Singh shared an interesting dub smash video of Fan with Shah Rukh in it which had gone viral. If another buzz is to be believed, the Bajira Mastani actor will be seen in Rohit Shetty's next. Rohit Shetty is an awesome director. He is the king of mainstream masala films. I would love to collaborate with him. We really get along well while spending time with him. 
Really looking forward to working with him. As I said before, nothing is formalized and finalized. If given the opportunity and everything falls into place, hopefully I will be in Rohit Shetty's Dhamaka very soon, said Ranveer. Hopefully these two actors, Ranveer Singh and Shah Rukh Khan, do agree and come to a movie together with Rohit Shetty. That would be a dream come true. In Bollywood recently, looks like it's not just the lovers that are breaking up, but also best friends. Salman Khan and Sanjay Dutt might not be friends anymore, according to the recent reports. It all became evident in Sanjay's return from jail. While many were hoping Salman would go and visit Sanjay, as reports even suggested how Bhai had planned for a surprise bash at his Panvel farmhouse. However, it came as a major surprise when Salman dropped no sign of meeting Sanju on his return, despite knowing other celebs including Shah Rukh Khan had already paid him a visit. In fact, things got even more ugly when Sanjay and Salman further avoided each other at a mutual friend's wedding. The awkwardness was felt, seen and heard all around the venue. Now what's going on guys? Are they the same two people who were once mad about each other? Not to forget, Salman too was super excited for Dutt's release when he had repeatedly gone on record saying how he'll party with Sanjay once he's out of jail. Then what went wrong guys? Whatever the differences are, we really hope that these two best friends work things out and start partying together some more. Alright guys, so this is it for the episode of Bollywood Buzz with me, Nikki. And make sure you follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we also upload videos on YouTube. So make sure you keep watching Bollywood Buzz.